Hey everybody, welcome back to the OPW Smithfield Facilities Display Center. Uh, my name is Dan Boyle, I'm the product manager here at OPW, and I just quickly wanted to give you an overview of, of one of our new products um, that's an accessory product to our entry fittings, give a quick recap of the story as to why we went this direction, and then show you a quick recap of correct installation um, and making sure that whenever these go in they're being installed properly so that they seal and last for a very long time. So what I want to talk about today is one of the changes in, in our product lineups that uh, regards to our entry fittings. So the standard change from UL2447 um, created a situation where we need to make changes to our entry fittings. So what we opted to do with the success of the REF is take that outer backing with the FRP reinforced nylon and the durability it provides and pair that with the flexibility of the old DEB and we put that into what we call the HEF or the hybrid entry fitting. Um, that really gives us the best of both worlds. So what this has done is it's transformed our offering into the REF and the HEF. Now the only trade-off that we really had to give up going from the DEB to the HEF is that we lose the flexibility of the rubber and and the way it is uh, the way it conforms to say a round sump. Now our REF entry fittings have always been a fantastic installation on a flat walled sump which is what we provide but we understand that not all entry fittings are going to be installed on our sumps so we wanted to provide that flexibility back to the customer. Now what this has created for us is a situation where we've created this accessory kit or the round kit line of entry accessories. So what this does is it allows you to continue buying all of the same entry fittings that you've now grown accustomed to buying which is the REF and HEF which cannot be installed on a round sump and we provided a sump gasket kit to take the place of the ones that come in the box so that you can adapt them to these round sumps. So what this looks like is two new gaskets that replace the gaskets on the inside of the REF. Now for an HEF, we only need one of these because only one side of that HEF is now not able to conform to a round sump. This will make a lot more sense when I go ahead and I put it on a round sump profile and I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. But there is a couple of things that are very, very important about these seals to make sure that they go in the right way and they seal the way they're supposed to. Here you see a chart that should make it easy for you to understand exactly which round kit accessory you'll need depending on the entry fitting that you are planning to use. Now you can see that the REF for the 4015 and 4020, both of those entry fittings are not compatible to seal with a round sump. So in that case we need two of the four inch gaskets. That is why we have the round kit dash 24. So for the HEF version, where we only have one outside component that won't conform to a sump for a 4 inch access pipe or 4 inch hole saw, you'll need the round kit dash 14. So I'm going to show this example using the round kit dash 24 and that's going to go on our REF 4015 or 4020. Now when you pull these kits out of the box, you'll see that you've got two flat gaskets. Now these gaskets are very, very good for sealing on a flat surface um, and remaining malleable and, and sealing well for a very long duration. However, it doesn't allow these entry fittings to conform around a curved surface because of their rigid nature in that FRP and nylon. So you'll still order the same entries that you always would, but the round kit will provide the gaskets, the two gaskets that are needed to go on the inside and the outside of the sump to conform to that round shape. So it's very clearly marked on the inner and outer of the two gaskets as well as two arrows on the three and nine o'clock positions that show which side is to go up. It is absolutely critical that whenever installing these that these holes are clocked at the 12 and 6 and 3 and 9 position. That makes sure that, that the geometry that we're using on our gaskets is being used in the correct spot to make a round sump entry shape. So I'll find my outer and I'll go ahead and put that on my fitting and I want to make sure that I'm clocking this at the 12 and 6. Now I've already gone ahead and drilled this so you can see that I've already got my holes and my entry and then I'll clock those arrows so that they're pointing straight up and I'll be able to install that on the back 
of my of my round sump. So you can see here that at the top we're a little bit thinner and on the sides we're a bit thicker. So we have uh, even compression over the length of the entire seal. Similarly, when we go in with the inner piece, we'll again find that it says inner on the gasket. We'll find our arrows that are again at the three and nine position and we'll go ahead and put those on our bolts so that they match up. Now we can go in with our inner and you can see that we have matched the profile of our round sump on all sides and that we're now going to get the same even compression with the same great seal that we would normally get on any of our other REF entry fittings. Critically important again that whenever you go back in to, to seal these off that you're going in with 60 inch pounds and using a torque wrench to go in a star pattern type shape like you're changing a tire and you want to do that star pattern at least twice so that you know you're getting equal compression across the gasket. Now these are designed to a certain compression and that is why we always, always want to use a torque wrench whenever installing entry fittings. So that was a quick run through of how to install the round kit-24 on the RAF 4015. Now just real quickly with the same idea in mind, I just want to show you what the difference is for a direct berry RAF that has the inside steel ring and this would also apply to our new HEF line where only the backing side will not conform to that shape because this ring as you apply pressure will bend to match the profile of the sump. So with the same idea in mind, you just want to remove the flat gasket that comes with the direct berry REF or in this case the REF-0200 and you'll just want to make sure you replace that with the outer that again says outer and again gives the the two arrows that are critical to installing this the correct way you'll install that in place of the flat gasket and then you'll put that right in the back again clocked to the 12 and 6 angle and then you'll go back in on the inside with just the ring and as you tighten the ring it will conform to the sump pull the backing in and it will seal the back just like we normally would with a flat gasket on a flat sided sump. Now a quick note about sump work prep is with any OPW fiberglass or polyethylene sumps, um, just wiping those down and making sure you have a clean surface is all that needs to be done before installing these entry fittings. But if you are using some other manufacturer's tank sump where they're not using a process like ours or might be spray up, we do just want to make sure that the prep work that's being done is very, very thorough so we have a flat spot for these good gaskets to seal. So I really appreciate everybody stopping by and having this quick run through, a quick explanation of the new round kit entry accessories that go right along with the same entries that you've been enjoying over the last six months. So thanks everybody, thanks very much. Check out our website at opwglobal.com. Thank you.